Hello, Dr. Kuichi. I want to take a second and just walk through this with you to actually talk about the data path here um, in question. So we'll notice we're at the PC. We go to the instruction memory. Both SW and LW are the same. At this point, we read and we come out. As you can see from the diagram you provided on the test, at this point, right while we're reading the register files, in parallel, control is already running. That control is providing the signals. There's zero time delay once you've left the combinational logic along the bus lines. So we see at the ID phase, control has begun. And in parallel, by the chart that you've provided, that's what we're looking at. Now, as we continue through, we continue into the register file. And I agree with you, store word is going to have a read data to that comes out uh, versus load word, um, where you've rightly said only has read data one. Now, most register files and the register files in your typical MIPS RISC machines do read in parallel. So these reads happen at the same time for read one and read two. Now, so that means at this point, store word and load word are the same. Now, there's an error in the quiz where it shows that the read data happens sequentially. Now, according to our book, according to the Mars, and according to our class material, we've only been dealing with parallel register read files. So that's an assumption that we have to make going forward. And since it wasn't stated otherwise, I believe very strongly that we have to assume that this is standard MIPS, standard RISC, and that is a parallel register read file. Now, as we continue along, then we go through the ALU into uh, the data memory. Now, uh, when we leave, we do have to go through this MUX which won't be able to happen until this bus line right here with read data from memory is stabilized. So for the case that we're looking at with load word, we've got to go through this MUX. In store word, we've actually stopped right here at the right data. So we have to look at the cost of reading from memory plus the MUX uh, versus just stopping and writing from memory between those two. Um, but it's not actually the control line because the control line happened back here and ran in parallel. So it's not an issue. The control line would have to be slower than everything that happened to the right of it, which means since the control line happened right after instruction memory, it would have to be slower than the read register plus this MUX plus going through the ALU plus going through the read or the write of memory in order for the control line to become gating at that stage for anything down here. Um, you know, I've been designing circuits for quite a few years. Um, looking through this, I um, certainly welcome a response um, from you on this otherwise, um, but I just don't see how the answers provided in the book and through 20 years of working on this aren't correct. So really appreciate any clarification you might be able to provide. Thank you.